That was a really nice comeback by Matt there at the end of the double jeopardy round. He was almost out of contention there had, you know, they decided to just stop play for some reason. But now he is in pretty good shape for second place. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. I was thinking about going for a run on the treadmill during Jeopardy tonight, and I decided, no, let's not do that. So instead I'm watching it live, so I can't fast forward, but I do have some work to do. Uh, Neil just barely out of 3,400. Uh, Matt and Bonnie are separated by 3,800, so he can't catch up unless Bonnie overwagers and, frankly, Matt overwagers too. So let's go through the math here quickly. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew that Dubuque quote, or I knew the answer. I don't know if I've heard it or just read it or just something you learn being in New York for so long. Uh, 3,800 is a drag on 3,800. That's going to be 11, 8. Why did I pick up the purple one again? I picked that up yesterday, too. I'm going to change colors just because I can. The nice thing is I only have, what, three and a half more weeks to do this, and then I can throw everything away, all the markers. Uh, 11, 8, so that's minimum... She's wrong with that total. She's going to have, was it, 3,600? So uh, Matt could wager up to 8,000. And now we go into mind games. So if Matt wagers 8,000, you have 23,6. And, uh, you know, Matt is one of the few players that if I were against him, I would assume, yeah, he's going to be pretty rational here. So something like 79.99 would not surprise me at all. 23.6, that is going to be 4,200. And, uh, yeah, I go one level deeper. It's a maximum of 400 on Matt's side. No, oh, sorry. Yeah, maximum of 400. But I wouldn't take that in too much consideration. Let's uh, go to the zero cover wagers now. Uh, 3,800 is what they're separated by, so Matt, I'd go 7,600. It's twice that amount. Uh, if I am Bonnie, I guess if I want to force Matt to get it right, I'd go at most 3,800. But I don't like that wager too much because Matt has this 7,600 amount that he could do, and he, he's got a good range of knowledge. The odds that he's going to bet zero on a category. And I can't remember what the category it is, of course, European something or other. Uh, I can't imagine the wager zero here. So, if I'm Bonnie, I strongly consider this 4,200 amount. I guess if I'm Matt, I could go for everything. If I'm afraid Bonnie's going to try to play some mind games with me. But, usually not a good play. Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess I'll get into that later. But, uh, man... Magna Carta in 1616, that was just a... I was like, what? Me and leave after that one, because I had such a headache. Just kidding. Shut up, Keith. And just killing some of my favorite things this week. Yesterday we had Amadeus, today we have Sherlock Holmes. Of course, he probably had PTSD, so it could have been anywhere, right? Yeah. Afghanistan, I presume. I think. Is that Sherlock Holmes first line to him? And of course, in the Sherlock. BBC series, they changed it to Iraq or Afghanistan, which was clever and also a little scary. It's not the narrator.
It's a nice little payday. Congrats, Bonnie. And now I guess I can start playing the carousel music. I thought after Matt's performance last night that he was in pretty good stead to win another one tonight. And you know, Bonnie had a good game as well. I would have, of course, like to see a bigger wager on that daily double, as I always do, just for S's and G's. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have notes. I have a friend named Eric Haste, and uh, I think his Instagram, no, I know his Instagram account now is Make Haste, but it's spelled differently. It's spelled H O E S T. And, uh, and so when I write here Haste, I always spell it that way. So I was thinking of things later in the alphabet from H O E. And uh, that took a clue or two to get over. Investments category for Matt, very nice for him because he didn't read the question on that Oracle one, which the Delphi clue was pretty helpful because I thought it was Sun. I thought Sun program Java, but maybe they were bought by, no, they were bought by Oracle. So yeah, I guess it's not a great pin on the clue, well, except for the Delphi card, of course. Uh, I, I like Bonnie's approach of saying Lewis. Who is Lewis? Of course, I mean, what are you going to say? Meriwether Lewis? And no one else figured out, oh, it's the other half of those guys in 1805 who saw the Pacific Ocean. Uh, I didn't like, oh, didn't like the pun, I mean, the pun category. Pun categories are just dumb. Stop doing them. That said, I got postponed and I didn't like it. Uh, math in Venezuela for $400. I thought that was undervalued because doing math on the fly, as, uh, as Neil showed, is not the easiest thing to do. So probably should have been worth more. And uh, I went with Liffey. That goes through Dublin, as I recall. Forgotten about the Shannon. And uh, I was very happy that no one buzzed in on that $2,000 river flue and said, what is the rhyme? Because you know that's what they're hoping people would do. Save so many some money. All right, we got Bonnie's our new champ. And uh, she got a big total, so we'll see if she can uh, repeat tomorrow, which would be a, a feat, I guess, of the last six games or so. Hey, have to join me then, right here on the final wager.